Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Denim Aerodrome, Echo Golf Lima Delta for the four letter code and it's also where currently in real life I'm learning to fly for my PPL. Really excited to show this to you guys and it's a brand new payware scenery created by the awesome developers Burning Blue Designs. All the links will be in the description down below as we explore the scenery. Make sure you hit like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. So we begin our exploration of Denham Aerodrome on the north side of the airfield near to the pilot centre within the uh, open hangar and uh, there is a chipmunk parked there most of the time but it's also the home of the pilot centre and as you can see those of you who use my freeware version of Denham Aerodrome this is vastly improved in comparison easily so because I am quite amateur with uh, creation of sceneries and they've used a lot of reference images, a lot of satellite imagery and also uh, images from folk who fly in and out of the airfield to help create uh, an accurate rendition of what this airport has to offer for those of us who love a little bit of general aviation flying on either the Batsum network or just offline in general in Microsoft Flight Simulator. One thing that's really nice is that they've uh, actually modelled in the crew room, quite a popular little area overlooking the pilot center apron and uh, usually is quite busy throughout the week in the crew room cafe nice place to go and spot and watch the world go by in real life and of course really nicely detailed by uh, burning blue design as well bringing this to life in the sim my route to the airfield usually begins uh, through this entry gate here and they've nailed it with the accuracy even down to uh, the sort of crisp details on the signs. That's one of the things that's stood out the most to me with this particular piece of scenery is the fact that they've gone into a lot of detail including uh, signs, fence posts, everything really true to life. The little derelict house on the corner of the airfield as well that stands very accurately made near to where we do the run-up checks uh, when we're using runway 24. Then we cross over the apron around all of the heli center hangars. A couple of static helicopters included, which is quite nice to see, and uh, the big bowsers there as well, accurately placed along with the fence posts too. And the colours uh, look pretty good from uh, personal experience, having flown out of Denham quite a bit recently. All the different colours of the hangars actually look very well matched. Um, and the roof textures look quite nice as well. They've also created a number of assets specific to the airport, including the fuel delivery systems, the pumps, and various points around the airfield. Taking a look at the flying school then, the pilot centre. There's the gate that I walk through when I'm heading off to my aircraft. And uh, all the signs and the uh, little Denim fire jeep, really accurately created. Uh, it looks exactly as it does in real life as well actually and uh, the level of detail here is just remarkable it's exactly the banner that's used at the moment in real life at the pilot center really cool heading over the pilot center flight line then we've got a uh, number of aircraft in situ the Cessna 152s from the pilot center with the accurate reg numbers and liveries as well and then uh, plenty of parking space uh, on the other line too. The only thing that's missing really for the Cessna parking are the uh, little concrete spots that they sit on when they're in situ parked up on the stands. Having said that, further down the airfield, they are in place as well. So it's nice to see that they have been included in most sections of the airfield. The runway numbers for the grass, uh, runway one, two and three zero, really accurately created and the denim overhead identifier is really nicely detailed as well. Burning Blue Designs have also added in the runway marker boards, true to life feature of the airfield, designating each runway and sort of the whole points if you like um, when you're using it in real life. And the runway textures look very good as well. They've added the pappies exactly what they look like in real life as well and of course the south side of the airfield over here we're going to go and explore that they've modeled in a number of the buildings including Biggles restaurant and the control tower as well 
Take a look at Piggles then to begin with. The building looks really nice. Very accurately created, like the rest of the, uh, the airfield to be fair. Following on from there, you then led through to a very accurate rendition of the control tower. Remarkably well detailed, very well textured, and it looks incredibly good. All the antennas and the uh, light signals box on the roof, exactly as it looks in real life. Looking around the inside of the tower then, Burning Blue Design have modelled it really nicely with real reference images and at Denim Radio, the air ground radio system here in the tower is really nicely created, it looks fantastic. Of course Burning Blue Designs have also created an amazing Fair Oaks, so Martha's Vineyard, Farnborough Airport as well, uh, Lid I believe as well, a couple of other products on the website, well worth checking out. This one by far is my favourite though, because I've, obviously I fly here for real. Look at the detail included in this. And so there we have it, Denim Aerodrome from Microsoft Flight Simulator by Burning Blue Designs. If you like a little bit of general aviation flying or indeed you want to fly from the airfield I use in real life in the sim, then this is a fantastically accurate, true to life rendition of the airfield. It's incredibly good what they've done uh, and I'm really pleased that they've bought this product to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So thank you to the Burning Blue Design team for creating such an amazing airfield. Hopefully you guys love it. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.